I'm doing something a bit different today. I'm making my first ever match day vlog. I'm going to be heading to Pride Park soon in an attempt to see Derby County win and jump into the playoffs for the first time this season. We face up against tough opposition this afternoon in Bristol Rovers. They're 10th in the table, just four points behind us. It is an occasion where Derby County can put a marker down in the league and get a big result. Derby County previously beat Barnsley at Pride Park in the league, but they were unfortunate when they lost to Crew Alexandra 3-1 in the FA Cup replay before the international break. Derby County have a few players missing today. The likes of Connor Washington is missing. Tyrese John Jules will probably not be around the squad. And it, there's a big miss for Liam Thompson. Liam Thompson hasn't been around since Peterborough away, where Martin Waggon scored his first hat trick. When I'm at the game, I'm going to put in a range of different clips from the game that I've taken to show, and I might even chuck in a few highlights. When team news breaks, I'll I'll be doing a voiceover of my reactions to the initial team news. Then, as the game goes on, I'll let you know what the score is, who scored, how we're playing, and stuff like that. When the game finishes. I'll be heading heading home, but I'll I'll give you a quick review of what I thought of the game and I'll let you guys tell me what you thought of the game. I'm just going to make a quick prediction about the game now. I think that Derby County are going to come out victorious today. I think that we're going to win 3-0. I think that James Collins is going to score again. I think Mendes Lang will score and I think Max Bird will pop up with another goal. I do not think that Derby will make it into the playoffs today. I do think that the teams above us will win their games. However, I do think Derby will retain their, unbe their recent unbeaten league record and continue their winning streak in the league. Before we get into the next part of this video, 58% of you aren't subscribed. What are you doing? Click the red button. I made a team prediction in my preview video yesterday. I'm going to put my team prediction on screen here. I'm going to put my team prediction here. And later on, we'll see how well I did when the team is released. I hope you guys enjoy this different type of content that I'm going to be creating today and I hope to carry these on for future home games. Thank you. 
Just got home from the game absolutely brilliant victory for derby county 2-1 win against bristol rovers that now sees derby sitting sixth in the table the first time they've been in the playoffs this season they are four points behind blackpool the first half was very topsy-turvy not many chances in the game but it was excellent to see that derby county held on and didn't concede after half time Paul Warren made a range of changes to the style of play in the setup. Eventually, we looked at two up top with Nathaniel Mendes Lang and James Collins. Tyrese Fauna came on as an inspired substitution. He was excellent for the half an hour that he was on the pitch after replacing the injured Corey Smith. Nathaniel Mendes Lang has been in excellent form and he showed that again today. He beat his man out wide to put a cross in, which turned into a Jack Hunt own goal. If Jack Hunt hadn't have touched it into the back of the net, Tyrese Fauna was there following him. was again instrumental in Derby securing their second goal of the game. Tyre so, my opinion on the game is that Derby County were excellent in the second half. The first half they weren't so great and there was a lot of bouncing about, a lot of bobbles and bounces here and there and Derby weren't quite on it. The changes that Paul Warren and coaching staff made at half time really made a difference to the game and hopefully it's something that Derby can take on into the next game against Port Vale on Tuesday. This is the first time in a long time that Derby County go into their next fixture off the back of three straight league wins. Let's hope that this is now the start of an unbeaten run as we look ahead to Tuesday against Port Vale away. Make sure to go and find me on TikTok pictured here and Twitter pictured here. These are the places where I'll keep you all up to date with all my upcoming videos and my thoughts and feelings around the Formula One and football weekend.